Hello, this is Sal. Today's video, we will be talking about extended access list. We have in this network, two routers on router one connected uh, in this interface of router one 172.16.1.0 network. And on router two, we have two subnets to network. And in each network uh, server of 192.168.1.2, and another server of 196, uh, 192.168.2.3. Now from PC2, we can ping PC of 192.168.2.3, the server here. And the same, we can ping the other server of 192.168.1.2. And the same with PC1 can ping both servers and the other server of 192.168.2.3. Now we will create an extended access list that we want to permit only server of 172.16.1.2 to access this server of 192.168.1.2 and not to allow any other uh, host on the network to access the server but they can access go anywhere to access any resources or any server so in this example we want to permit as I said the traffic from 172.16.1.2 to the server on 192.168.1.2 and deny all traffic from subnet or the same subnet going to the server on 172 uh, 192.168.1.2 and then permit all other traffic from the subnet anywhere else and here extended access list should be placed close to the source as possible so we will place it here on this interface of gig 00, zero uh, gig 00, zero. now on router 1 uh, enable configure terminal access list we will give it uh, 100 here now we want to permit and what we want to permit our options here as we said the HTTP traffic and so it's gonna be TCP uh, the source what is the source it's just one host either we type it as the word host and then specify the address and then it will not prompt us this way for the wildcard or without typing the word host and just type 172.16.1.2 and then it will ask us for the uh, wildcard of 0000. zero, zero, zero. What, the, what, what does this mean? means that for the first zero it must match 172 and the second zero it must match 16 and the third zero here it must match the number one and the fourth it must uh, for zero must match the two which means only a host either we type it this way it will take it this way or just simply type after the word tcp or udp or ip whatever we want to permit any kind of protocol just type the word host and then just simply the ip address of the host so this is our source and uh, the destination here is this server of 192.168.1.2 and question mark here the wildcard of the server or as i said also we can simply type the word host and then just type in the destination address of the host 192.168.1.2 and here uh, it's equal to what what uh, port uh, port 80 um, find hard to type uh, the question mark on my the keyboard of my laptop either we type it as www World Wide web http or just simply the number of the port which is here is port 80 and enter now 
we permit only one host, which is this, from this subnet of 172.16.1.0 to access this server. And we want to deny anybody else on this subnet to access this. So we'll create another access list, the same number of 100. Now this time it's going to be deny. Deny what? Deny IP, any kind of protocol from this subnet. Now here it will ask us for the source address. The source address is the uh, network of 172.16.1.0. And here it will ask us uh, for the source wildcard of 0.0.0.255. .0 here, what, it, what does it mean? The first zero must match the 172. The second zero must match the 16. The third zero must match the 1. And the fourth, because this is an inverse subnet mask, that it, it means that it, it should be within this network, 172.16.1.0. Any host in this network. Now we want to deny the IP any type of protocol from this uh, network where to and the destination is the host of uh, the server which is 192.168.1.2 and that's it. This is our uh, command. Now we want to permit all other traffic. First, we permit only this host to access this server. And this, secondly, we denied anybody in this within this uh, subnet or network to access this server. But now we want to permit all other traffic from this subnet anywhere else. So we create another access list with the same number 100. Now permit any kind of protocol from where? From the subnet of 172.16.1.0 with the inverse subnet mask of 000.255 where anywhere we want. So we are done now with uh, creating the access list. Now we want to bind the access list on the interface. Here we go to interface gig 0, 0. This interface here on router 1. Enter. Now IP access a group. And the number of the access list or the access group we created is 100. And we have one of two options, either inbound or outbound, which is uh, in this case we'll choose inbound which means any that we want uh, before it, the router will have the chance to process the access list it has to uh, bind the access list on this interface to drop the traffic going to this uh, server if it wasn't this host. So now let's uh, test it. Now from PC1, which we are going to permit to reach uh, the server of 192.168.1.2 now to ping it it's not allowed we permit only uh, using http so we'll go open a web server of 192.168.1.2 and it is uh, it was able to now from this host to access the same server let's go Open a web browser 192.168.1.2 and it will time out. So the other host is not able to. Okay, uh, the request time out. Now from the same host, which is PC2, that can it access this other web server? We denied it the access to this server, but not this server. So let's see if and access the other web server of 192.168.2.3 and it is able to. So our access uh, list is uh, configured uh, properly. So now uh, go back to router 1, exit, exit, show access list. 
we have this access list. Now I want to delete it. To delete it, just go to the configuration, no access list, and the number of access list was 100. Exit from here, and now show access list. It's not showing us that there is any other access list on the router. Now, uh, we want to permit HTTP and TFTP traffic from all of the subnet here. Uh, uh, subnet of 172.16.1.0/24 to the server of 192 to this server 192.168.1.2 and deny all other traffic from the same subnet. Uh, to get uh, from this subnet of, of 172.16.1.0 to the server and to permit all other traffic from the subnet anywhere else. So now on router 1, uh, configure terminal, access list. Now we want to give this access list uh, the number of 101. Now we want to permit Permit the TCP because we said we will not allow uh, HTTP and TFTP. And now it's going to ask us for the source. The source is the whole network of 172.16.1.0, the inverse subnet mask of 000255, and where to? To the host of the server of 192.168.1.2. And equal to port 80. Now another access list with the number 101 to permit UDP because TFTP is a UDP of one from 172.16.1.0 the host the inverse uh, subnet mask the, the inverse subnet mask of 000 to the host of the server of 192.168.1.2 and equal to the port number of 69 which is for the HTTP uh, permit I wrote it uh, with two M's sorry about that now another access list of 101 we want to deny the IP any source of protocol from the same subnet of 172.16.1.0 with the inverse subnet mask of 00.255 to the host of 192.168.1.2 but another access list permit Permit IP any protocol from the same subnet of 172.16.1.0 with the inverse subnet mask of 000255 to go anywhere. And as for this access list, we want to apply it to bind it on this interface of gig 00. So interface gig 00 IP access group of 101 also inbound. Exit. Exit. So uh, we want uh, this access list to permit the HTTP and TFTP traffic from the subnet here uh, to the server, the server 192.168.1.2, and deny all other traffic from the same subnet to, for example, we cannot ping. Yes, we are allowed only uh, the TCP and the uh, TFTP. So if we try to ping it, ping 192.168.1.2, and it is unreachable. And the same from this other host here because we are allowed only using to access it using the uh, HTTP and the TFTP.
ping 192.168.1.2 and it says we received a reply from here from its uh, default gateway that uh, uh, the destination host is unreachable and now here to go to show access list we have uh, the first line to permit the TCP okay, permit TCP from this subnet of 172.16.1.0 to the host here this host only to permitting uh, using uh, the HTTP for example we can get to this server using uh, let's open the web browser uh, sorry not from the server from here f192.168.1.2 and we are able to just uh, like how we specified on our access list and the same from the other host 192.168.1.2 and from here also it can uh, go to the other web server of 192.168.2.3 but we cannot ping this server we can access only access it only using the http and the tftp i hope you learned something from this video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumb up and share the video and uh, let me know if you have any comments or uh, if you have any questions thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video